My name is Jared Lowenstein. I was born um, in Virginia. Actually, that's not quite true. Uh, I'm a 10th generation Virginian who was born just across the Potomac River on the Washington, D.C. side because my mother, a 9th generation Virginian who was in Washington at the time, uh, that my moment came for delivery and she said to the ambulance driver, please get me across the Potomac into Virginia to have this baby. And he said, ma'am, I'm taking you to the first hospital I see. And of course that was not in Virginia, that was in the district. And she always made me promise that I would insist if anybody asked that I was really a 10th generation Virginian and was in fact born on Virginia soil, so we sort of covered that up a little bit. Luray, Virginia, which was my hometown, my mother's hometown, was a little place of 3,000 people. I think it had had 3,000 people 100 years before that, and I think today it still has a, about 3,000 people. Girl. The guy with the fancy uniform and hat in there, my great grandfather, was his and his wife's mirror, and it hung in the dining room. And when my mother gave it to me, it's all you know, the silvering is all gone, you know, and I said I'll have to get a new mirror installed in the frame. And she said, oh, no, don't do that. When you look in the mirror, you can see the reflections of all the people in the family who've ever looked in it. She says, you'll see people in the mirror that aren't standing in the room. If you put a new mirror in it, that'll go away. 1962, I graduated from Luray High School, top of my class, valedictorian, and um, came to UVA. It was the only school I applied to, actually. I'd never wanted to go anywhere but UVA. And After graduation in Spanish, my bachelor's degree, I decided to stay at the University of Virginia and go on for graduate degrees in Spanish. Uh, and it was at that time that I started reading, uh, for the first time, uh, Jorge Luis Borges. And I was astounded because it was so different from any writing I'd ever read before by any writer in any language. Shortly after this began, uh, the Spanish department here announced that they were sponsoring Borges to come here and give a series of lectures on Poe, Edgar Allan Poe, who had been a student at the beginning of the university's founding, and it happened that Borges was also a great fan of Poe, and particularly for his detective stories. So I thought this, this will be interesting, so I went to hear him speak. And after his last uh, engagement, uh, there was a party that the Spanish department gave him. We went to this uh, reception, and Bortes was seated in the drawing room, uh, this pavilion, this great space, very Jeffersonian space with all sorts of antiques from the 19th century in it and, and with all the Jeffersonian architecture surrounding him and we were waiting one at a time in line to go up and shake the master's hand and say a few words to him and I got up to 
the point where there was just one person in front of me and I heard Borges saying to him in English, uh, ah yes, Jefferson, the architect of democracy and the democrat of architecture. And I thought, this is, this is incredible. I've never heard such synthesis or such compression. Uh, this, this guy has said almost everything that needs to be said about Thomas Jefferson in, in one sentence. It's incredible. I've got to get to know this man better.